Do not underestimate the power of exponential technologies. Do not underestimate the importance of the community around exponential medicine. Here at Exponential Medicine, we want to sort of tap into those uh, technologies, the people, the ideas, the insights, and spark new innovations to improve health and wellness, diagnostics, therapy, discovery, and globalize and democratize healthcare on the planet. Now we have to be bold in how we look at where things will go. We have to think about simple solutions, although high tech, but low cost. That's the way you penetrate the market and make healthcare more equitable and fair, right? So what if we had a detector that was so small that it could circulate in the body, it could find the cancer all by itself, and it could send a signal to the outside world. And this would be a way to do a cancer diagnosis that could be done all over the world. That could be truly disruptive. Medicine has improved a lot as a practice, but I think it's time to take this practice of medicine and turn it into the science of medicine. Once we've turned something into data, this is where we start to be able to make exponential changes. As long as we're still in the physical world, those exponential changes are harder. Once we move into data, things start to get really interesting and they start to move really fast. It's an amazing uh, opportunity to be able to tie together uh, people who are developing all these new technologies with the clinicians on the front lines who might be using these technologies. It's uh, definitely an unmet need that Singularity seems to be meeting. I'm just amazed at the quality of the people that are here. It's like a who's who of, of the leaders of this revolution. And you just get to spend all this time with them for a couple of days. Plus, I mean, it's gravy that you hear the talks. But, I mean, the real thing is this incredible community and interaction that goes on here. I don't know of any place like it. And if you want to know where the future is in medicine, you need to be at this conference. And when we're up on the International Space Station, we have 24-7 communication, more or less. There's very little time latency. But if you're on Mars, it could take 21 minutes one way. So we have to think in different ways and how we're going to support healthcare in these faraway places. And then, of course, we can use some of these great solutions to take care of people in sub-Saharan Africa and distant Nepal and uh, uh, rural North Dakota. We welcome all types, we blend it in. Uh, and that, that's part of the magic. It's no one, one type of person who's here. And a lot of the ideas and sparks that happen are from the unexpected convergences on the beach at our bonfires, to the lectures on stage, to the demos, to the innovation lab. And so what's really amazing about this program is who shows up. We've had uh, in the last couple of years folks from over 40 countries, from every sort of medical specialty, from all sorts of different patient groups, to different technologists who get sparked to contribute their thoughts, their energy, and to take what they might learn here and through Singularity University uh, into action and to impact. These are people who understand the science, understand the technology, understand the medicine in ways that are, are almost unprecedented. Yeah, I'm astounded at the excitement, receptivity and enthusiasm to collaborate, to work together, to be curious, to ask questions, and I think it's really indicating that people are sick and tired of the old model and understand that there's this change happening and they want to be part of that. Paradigm changes are hard to achieve because most scientists are incredibly conservative and they're unwilling to give up what they learned early in their career. We want to use our talent, technological and otherwise, to improve the life of other people, specifically people that are being neglected by other life systems. I realized physicians are never going to care as much about pain as patients are. So I started looking for a solution that patients could use themselves to block pain. That one experiment allowed me to teach 14,000 people in one day. And then they took a number of patients which were supposed to be in a coma or in a vegetative state, put them in the scanner, and most of them didn't light up. But one patient did. Daniel has put together a fantastic agenda. I think it's there to open eyes and to connect like-minded people with a spirit of positivity uh, and what's possible rather than, you know, what's not. It's a cauldron of brilliance. Boo! You're looking at a ghost. Statistically, I should have been dead five years ago. I was diagnosed with breast cancer nine years ago, with liver metastases seven years ago. Why aren't I dead yet? Because of good luck? 
good oncologist, good surgeons, good drugs. Maybe because I'm a physician, I make better treatment decisions. Maybe because I'm young, I'm more aggressive, and I think outside the box. I think anyone would benefit from attending this conference. I come here to catch up on what are the coolest startups in exponential technologies applied to medicine, who are the top entrepreneurs, and sort of uh, meet the family here every year. You're exposed to leading experts who are at the vanguard of their fields. At the same time, the attendees have this sort of intrinsic curiosity. Many of them could very well be speakers in their own right anyway. I mean, everybody's fields are changing so fast that being able to, you know, have a touchstone every now and then and talk to someone about, oh, you know, tell me about the things you're excited about in your area, it's, it's a lot of fun. I like to focus on joy in work instead of burnout. Joy in work is more than just the absence of burnout, and that's what we should aspire to. I mean, what you guys have done is reinvent the medical conference. You know, trying to not only educate people about what's happening from a technology perspective, but I think hopefully in some ways kind of prepare them to be more effective and hopefully to be kind of agents of positive change for themselves and for the world. Very grateful for Daniel to have started this in the first place and really spurred me on to chase my dream and vision of developing an expertise and experience with artificial intelligence and medicine. Exponential medicine has really blossomed into an extraordinary event. Come with an open mind, you'll leave with more possibilities of what is going to happen over the next five, ten years of your career than you could possibly have imagined. And that's the future. That's where we're going. That's the new medicine. I will see, do, taste, smell, feel everything I can in my lifetime, however long or short it may be and it will be enough. For anybody who's interested in helping create and catalyze the future, Exponential Medicine is the community for you to join, contribute, and help spark and reimagine healthcare around the planet. Come join us. I look forward to seeing you here at our next program at the amazing, magical, Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego.